Hey guys, it's Candace here with Hardens and Hard Hats, and today I have a very easy DIY project that I am working on, which is to distress this sleigh bed that I have here in the guest bedroom. So I had it almost all set up, all the furniture and everything, and I have a lot of pieces that don't really match, and I thought, what if I could make them match by just using a little bit of elbow grease and making this piece of furniture here match the sleigh bed? And so I'll turn the camera around so you can kind of see what I'm working with, but that is the project that we're doing. We are distressing this bed to make it look like this dresser, and here we go. All right, so here is the dresser that I'm talking about. Like I said, I got it from an antique store a while back and you can kind of see the distressing that they did. I'm sure they just did like chalk paint and then sanded it down on the edges with some sandpaper. So I'm hoping that that's what they did because that is what I'm going to do over here with this sleigh bed. So I've had this bed for maybe 15 years now. It's been a really good bed and I'm trying to get a little bit more use out of it. It just needs a little bit of a redo, a little bit of a zhuzhing if you will. And it actually used to be a dark brown like oak color and I have since primed it and then painted it with the same paint that you see all along the trim, the baseboards and all of that throughout this room. So it's actually painted a really nice glossy finish and it looks really nice but like I said I really think it should match this piece of antique furniture so that's what we're going for I will get the camera set up and let's start distressing this sleigh bed all right so like I said I actually have already primed and painted this bed so really all this project needs is a sanding block now this one's already used, but it still feels pretty rough to me. Might have to switch it out, but it's just a standard uh, sanding block that I bought at the hardware store. So easy peasy. All right, so I have absolutely demolished the sanding block and I have barely gotten anywhere on this bed. So, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do because I feel like it'd be easiest to just use a sander, but this room is already finished so I can't use a sander in here anymore and it is like freezing rain outside so I can't take the bed outside. I don't know what to do, I might have to come back to this tomorrow and see what we can do. So I didn't want to give up just yet, so I decided to switch to sandpaper. It's a lot harder to use and grip, so I don't know how long this is going to last. Okay, so I switched to a 150 grit piece of sandpaper, and it's really not giving me the look that I want. It's kind of just giving me little slivers of raw wood, whereas the sanding block was giving me some raw wood and some of the old finish coming through. So this is no longer working because it is busted up and this is just not giving me the look that I want. So I think I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store and get me another sanding block and I'm gonna have to tackle this a different day. All right, I'm back with another attempt to sand. I have my detail sander. I already tried to do it and it's still not giving me the look that I want because again, it's just this flat piece of sandpaper edging up on the corners, but I was able to use it on like the top piece that goes across and I think it is giving it a little bit of a distressed look that I want. So I think I'm going to use this for just a bit until I have no use for it anymore. So if you can see, I rubbed like up here and you can kind of see this like dark brown line here. And this is kind of what I'm going for, not necessarily all the way across, um, maybe, but I definitely have to do this bottom trim here. So I think that's what I'm gonna work on now. This detail sander was not really working for me either. I know this tool has a use, but this is not it. That paper fell off about every 10 seconds and I was unreasonably angry at it at times. Needless to say, this did not last long. All right, I was able to make a trip to the hardware store and got five sanding blocks. Don't know what grit they are. They were just like, I think uh, a pack of four actually for like $1.99. And then we got another one that was like a more fine one in case I need it. But this should do the trick. 
I'm excited. Let's go. Not gonna lie, the sanding block wasn't working out too hot, but I don't know about you, when I start working on a project, I have to finish it and do my best not to throw more money at the problem. I feel like the sun in this time lapse is a pretty good depiction on how long it took me to do this. Way too long. Okay, I think I was able to finish it up. This sanding block was demolished after like two slots. So um, I, I don't know why, maybe it was the type of paint I was using, but I just kept going because I didn't want to go through a bunch of sanding blocks. I just kept using this. And then also I used this for the bottom edge and I haven't done the foot of the bed yet, but I finished the top piece. I think I like how it looks right now. I think I'm gonna take the bottom piece outside. Um, just maybe, hopefully I can use a palm sander to finish it off and it will go faster than this. And like I said, I won't have to use all the sanding blocks, but let me show you up close of what it looks like right now. All right, there it is very subtle hopefully or not hopefully i don't know it's hard to say because it's like you don't want it to look super super beat up but you also don't want it to look like you did nothing to it so there is the piece that i finished and then see again here is the foot of the bed that hasn't been touched so i don't know how well you can see that difference as of now but like I said, I'm gonna take this foot outside, sand it with a palm sander and see how that works. If we can move this project along a little bit faster. All right, we moved the party outside. So I have the palm sander over there on that chair. I've got the slats over here and I'm going to try to see if I can use the palm sander to knock this project out a lot faster. This is obviously going much faster than me doing it by hand, but the question is, can I achieve the look that I want and have it look similar enough to the part of the bed that I've already finished? Either way, testing out my new sander is very fun. All right, so this bad boy right here is going a lot faster than me doing it by hand, so I'm going to stick with this. It's giving me almost exactly what I want. Maybe um, it's taking off just a little bit too much, but as long as I just, you know, let up on the pressure a little bit, I can do a little bit of less pressure and then go back with the sanding block and scuff it up exactly how I want to. But this is a Bosch sander. It's basically brand new. Uh, we've only used it on the room to just sand down the walls, but um, this might not be the best project to showcase how good of a sander it is, but I like it. I'm enjoying it so far and it is saving my life on this project. So I am flipping this over and I'm going to do uh, the other side and then I should be done. I thought I would do this next part in real time so you could see the technique I ended up going with. If you notice, I'm kind of punching the edge of the sander against the corner to give it that extra scuff. Here's an even better example. First, I zip across the board to get the thin coat of paint off really easily, but again, I don't just want the raw wood showing through. As I give this edge a little more punch, you can see the oak color also starting to be visible. This is just what I found worked best for me. Although this technique was much more tiring than whatever the heck I had been doing up until then. All right, so I'm getting a little overzealous with the sander because my hand is getting tired. So these last couple ones, I kind of just zipped them off a little bit and I'm gonna go back with a sanding block and see if I can't get the look that I'm going for by doing that. Also I think I'm just gonna take a little bit of a break. As you can see, the break really came back to bite me. It very quickly became a race between me and the sun. My hand and I were both so tired after this, and you know that means the sanding job was getting a little sketch. Hopefully when we bring it inside, it'll be all right. We are back inside. I was losing daylight outside, so I had to come in and I kind of sped through the last few steps. So there's a few places that I would like to touch up with a sanding block. And then um, I also compared the two because remember I did this one inside, the foot of the bed outside, and they look pretty similar. So I am happy with that. Um, I'm gonna do a few touch-ups and then hopefully I will be done. All right, here's some final detail.
As you know, the goal was to match this chest of drawers right here. So what do you think? Did we hit the mark? Hopefully you can see all the detail. Let us know what you're thinking in the comment section. And of course, make sure you stay till the very end to see the final setup. All right, this bed frame is complete. I have wiped it all down. I have swept the floors. So it is ready for a mattress, the box spring, the pillows, the comforter, all the things. Hopefully you enjoyed this DIY project of this distressed sleigh bed. If you have, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Be on the lookout for our future videos. And as always, happy housing from the Hardens.